Hey there, in today's ultimate performance tip, we've got a quick, simple, and easy way for you to get your shoulders warmed up and ready to train. All right, so we're here today with Howie Clark, and Howie is an 18-year uh, veteran in professional baseball, and of course, the shoulders are incredibly important in baseball. And so the drill, the exercise we're gonna show you today are called uh, shoulder plate sled drills or something along those lines. Uh, we're obviously using the sled here and a plate. And the nice thing about this is it allows you to do a lot of different exercises, a lot of different movements. So we're gonna show you, uh, first we go through what we call the IYTs, and uh, these are a real simple way to warm up the shoulders and get them ready to train. Uh, the first one must be a Y. Go ahead, Howie, show the Y. Okay, and you'll notice he wants to, he's pulling his shoulders out at about a 45 degree angle as you drag the sled back. Then come back. It's good to go and turn around. Um, the next one, we can go up into either the I or the T. Let's go ahead and just show you the I. Um, it's the same thing, of course, just going straight up for the I. Turn around. Again, you'll notice there's nice and smooth pulling throughout there. He's not, he's not jerky, he's nice and fluid through the movement. And then the last one will be the T, which of course is just into the T. Again, it's very similar motion. You're just going out into the T rather than up into the 45 degree angle of the Y. You want to put your uh, hand straight back as you come through. Yeah, you'll notice how he pulls straight through, nice and smooth motion from start to finish. Okay, and then you can go through those different variations a couple of times. Um, and then we also wanna work the front side of the shoulder, obviously, so we can do uh, basically just kind of a pressing motion. So we're gonna turn around and face forward. And we're gonna do basically what you wanna think of doing is like a push up or a standing bench press. You wanna get good tension throughout. Just push it straight forward. Sometimes you might wanna use a longer rope uh, depending on the weight, so you don't hit your ankles. Last thing you want to do is take out someone's ankle. But again, you see how he's nice and fluid motion throughout the whole range of motion. Um, and the great thing about the sled is, is you can change exercises, you know, easily. You don't have to do any setup for it. It's just a matter of different positions. Good. And you should feel a good stretch there. Um, you can also do lots of different variations of those. You can do, um, let's do like a one arm. You can do a one arm variation of the external rotation. And again, really, there's, there's limitless different variations you can do. I like the one-arm variations for different stuff um, as well. And you can use the one-arm stuff for actual training. It doesn't have to be in the, the warm-ups, but just a one-arm uh, external rotation. Just keeping the shoulder up and pulling straight all the way through. Go and do the other arm coming back. Good. And you can do internal rotations. I mean, really, the sky is the limit. These are, these are simple, easy drill to do. There's endless variations. Uh, you can do PNF patterns, which would be spiral diagonal patterns up and around. You can find more about those at uh, eight weeks out. Um, but the sled is just a great versatile tool for warming the shoulders up because you can go through so many different ranges of motion. Uh, there's no eccentric stress on the shoulder, which you know, over time can, can cause more damage than good in a lot of times. Um, but so the sled is a great tool. We typically will do you know, three to five minutes of different variations of the, the warm-up drills before most upper body workouts. It's a great way to, to get started, and you can find more exercises, more great drills like this at 8weeksout.com, uh, so make sure and visit us there. Most coaches and athletes really don't understand what conditioning is or how to develop effective training programs to include it. And the truth is that conditioning is often the difference between winning and losing. You know, conditioning seems to be given short shrift and nobody speaks about it with confidence like he does. I created the BioForce Certified Conditioning and Coach course to solve all these problems and more. I've done tons of other certifications. Nobody does this. I've put over 15 years of work and understanding to give coaches a step-by-step -step guide to maximize performance for each and every athlete. I'm taking a lot with me, so I, I couldn't write fast enough. So. It was great. It really fit in well with my schedule. Joel's information is so valuable. With my clients, the results that I got were amazing. I never thought possible. This is the key to winning. This is the key to success. Just beyond my imagination. 